the Lions acquire a offensive tackle that I really like. And because I, I don't think our offensive line depth is as good as we think. I'll show you that here in just a second. And let me know in the comments, who's who's your favorite offensive lineman over the years? For me, let me just tell you who I didn't like. I did not like Dominic Raiola. Couldn't stand the guy. And I think it's just because he was like our center piece uh, throughout all the losing years. It's like, dude, he's flipping fans off and. I couldn't stand him. So that was not the question. The question is, who, who, do, what offensive lineman do, do you like? And uh, I can't wait for the response on that because offensive lineman is not like super uh, obviously glamorous, but uh, there's been guys, Gosder Cherilis, he's not one of them. Okay, take a look at this picture real quick. It's in this article that I found. Look at the. I mean, you got this guy's wearing number twelve. I don't. I don't know who twelve is. Probably his own number. He's got wristbands on. This. These guys are at the draft, so these are our super fans. Love it. He's got patches galore. This guy, this older gentleman, he's got a broken wrist. Don't care. I'm going to the draft. This guy, Panay Sewell, he's got an oversized hat on. This guy's got a clown wig. <laughs> this guy's laughing. Got our cheerleaders trying to. You know, they're taking pictures. They don't know what's going on. And then the sorry Vikings fans back there. Love it. Okay, let's take a look at this. Who did we sign? Now, we signed Max Percher, Pierce, Pire. I don't even know how to say his name. He's from Italy, so I'm saying it wrong probably. But here's the deal about this guy. He's a he's played in, NF, in the NFL. So he comes to us from, uh, remember, from that um, International Pathway program. We had another guy who's the tight end. I was really excited about, but he ends up getting injured or medical issues. So they, they said, Hey, you guys can, you know, get somebody else if you want. So we find this six, seven, 300 pound tackle that's played some different things, um, you know, in his past. But again, if you're a super athlete and you have a chance and, and the NFL is trying to promote getting other people into the league uh, from, from Germany, Italy, you know, different things, then, you know, you, you can have an opportunity to get these people. Well, he came here in the same program in 2021 and went to the Rams and played, the last two seasons on their practice squad and his preseason went well last year. He didn't make the initial 53 man roster. So it's not that he was in training camp. He was actually on the practice squad for last two years. So I really like that. It's not like you're bringing so somebody fresh over that's been playing rugby. And then, you know, you get to, and you just try and football out. He's played football. He's been, throughout the season on the Los Angeles Rams practice squad. So this is a this is a good signing for us. Now we have Taylor Decker, Panay Sewell, and Matt Nelson. So they say this is a crowded offensive line room. I disagree. I'll show you a little bit more of that here in a second. But Taylor and Panay, of course, are set at left tackle and right tackle. But then you've got Matt Nelson, who I... I don't know. Like Matt Nelson is not somebody that you're just like, yep, love it. Love Matt Nelson. Can't wait to see what he can do. He's going to be great. No, it's like, uh, he's our tackle, kind of our swing tackle, but maybe we need another tackle. And I don't know if this guy, if Max can play guard as well. I'm not really sure on that, but let's take a look at our, our depth chart and pretty clear. You can see that We've got this Ross guy, Logan Stenberg, maybe will make the team. Graham Glasgow is kind of our primary backup for center and guard. But then outside of that, you know, you, you've got some tackle situations here where we don't have just rock solid tackle backup. I mean, you guys let me know on Matt Nelson. I, I've just never been. He's always kind of been in and out injured there. I feel like he's been with us forever. I think he has. But this is a great, great piece and better than tight end. So, again, we had the tight end, but we've got Sam Laporta, Brock Wright, James Mitchell. Like, those three are probably going to make the team, no question. Shane Zylstra, maybe practice squad guys. So like, tight end is, is set. But tackle, what a great opportunity to bring in another body. And, again, you're looking for competition. You're looking for them to really have um, things kind of – just see where it goes, right? And so maybe you have a center, maybe you have a guard situation there. Next thing, OTAs are starting up. And so OTAs give you an opportunity to see who's going to who's gonna play where. And really, OTAs are not about the starters, um, not at all, because that's the last thing you really want to be getting involved with any injuries or anything like that. You're really trying to identify the backups and what that looks like. Perfect example, defensive tackle. So we've got the two 
starters, Broderick Martin, Benito Jones, I don't know, maybe, but then Christian Covington. Remember, we just picked him up, a veteran. Like, is he a veteran that can go? I think he's like 29, so he's definitely older. So it, that's what you're trying to find out in OTAs. It's not necessarily the starters, but same thing here. You know, is it, is it Aiden Hutchinson or, or is it going to be um, Jack, or excuse me, is it Malcolm Rodriguez or is it going to be Jack Campbell? Don't know. Who's going to start? Who's going to be the backup? What's Derek Barnes's role going to be? Like, is he going to be any better this year? Like, this is questions I have when it comes to OTAs. What about Anthony Pittman? Come on. Where, do you, where are you at? Iffy. You know, this is when you're getting in the real weeds. This is when you're a super fan is when you're wondering what if he's going to do. Remember, third round pick out of Syracuse. He's big, strong. He's been basically injured just the entire time he's been here. And then when he does get in, it's like, dude, this guy can play, right? So if he, Melon Fanwu, what's up with him? And by the way, I'm so glad that our new players have easy names. Brian Branch, Cameron Sutton. Jack Campbell, man, we went we went through a season there. It was like Owarie, uh, Onzuwerki. I can't even say his name. Still, we had a we had a bunch of guys, Okwara brothers. Where it's like, geez, Vitai can't say these guys. Half our team we couldn't say their name. Now we've got, thankfully, we've got just Jack Campbell. Thank you so much, Kirby Joseph, Brady Breeze, Brian Branch, Jerry Jacobs, Tracy Walker. Names that you can say. Just a side note there. Let us know in the comments your thoughts on OTAs. Let me know your thoughts on the on the defensive or on the uh, offensive line depth. Kind of where we're at there. I'm still really concerned about Rag now. Um, nobody else seems to be, uh, but I am just because that's a, that's a major injury that is non repairable. So it's just one. It just feels like one more time his toe gets stepped on or something happens, then it's going to be. Uh, you know, another, another thing that happens. So anyway, uh, become a member of the channel that really helps us out. That would really, 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 uh, help us out actually. So OTAs coming up, we're Craig and I are going to go live a little bit more this summer. We're looking forward to that first game, man. I'm not going to ask you for a score prediction right now, but if you want to throw one in the comments, score predictions, lions, chiefs, um, I, I'm not ready to give mine. I just think the lions, can catch them just perfect I, I love playing them the first game just because i don't know weird things can happen in game one and maybe we're on the wrong side of the weirdness you know maybe we not we're not ready and and the chiefs beat us 42 to 7 i don't know but i think we can hang with them offensively and defensively much improved and remember it's the second year in ben johnson's offense second Second full year. We have we've only played one full year in his offense. So I can't wait to see that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments and we'll see all of you on the